สวัสดีค่ะ How dear everyone, welcome to the My Minimum Channel. Now the YouTube situation has improved a little bit. I plan to make those again. This time it's collaboration of fantastic creatures teams. The following artists participating: Dark Crafting, H. Ali Craft, Selena, The Switch World, Rockitis World, and the last one is me. The character I chose today is Ginnery, one of the many creatures that inhabit the mythical Himawanta, a legendary forest which surrounds the base of the Mount Meru. In Thai mythology, the Ginnery is depicted as a beautiful woman wearing elaborate golden jewelry from the waist up. The lower part of the body is similar to a bird. And enables light between the human and the mythical worlds. Females have a swan-like lower body, whereas males have a Hongsa lower body. The lucky girl today is head mistress, black good body, and an integrity toys head. First, I start by amputating the lower leg. I plan to use the original knees, but I cut too close to the knee, meaning I broke the knee joint. Let's use this opportunity to use the Olego Bionicle figures from the flea market. As you can see, Lego Joy has a good range of movement. I decided to amputate above the knee, clear inside of the leg. Next, I cut off the edges of the Joy to fit the hole of the leg. Then rinse it with wire and attach it to the doll's leg with an epoxy scout. The remaining epoxy scout I add to the doll's bottom, and I plug some wire as a bait for attaching the tail. Next, I'm gonna make the tail. This is the Thai pattern resin mold that I bought from Thailand. For the first attempt, I apply the oil the mold and then press the doll clay little by little till I fill the mold. Then I use the needle to pick it up. This clay didn't work; it crumbles into small pieces. For the second attempt. I use baby powder with epoxy scout. After many tries, the result was satisfactory. I try again using super scalpy firm polymer clay with baby powder. Here to comparison, super scalpy hold details better. It's lighter, but it's fragile and easily broken. While a boxy scout is heavier and slightly stronger. Finally, I chose to use Super Scout Be Firm. After baking, attaching them together, glue on the paper. Do the same with the other side. Fill the gap between layers with the epoxy scout. At the bottom of the tail, 
I made a small pocket for insert into the wire at the base. Next, I made the pen by using the latex scale skin sheet left over from Mary in Pisces doll making. I started by making pattern first. This time it will be non-removable pant. Once patterns are done and trace onto the latex scale skin sheet and don't forget to mark the joining points, then cut it out. For assembling, use liquid latex as a glue. After that, I use liquid latex mixed with acrylic paint in the dark purple tone. Please keep in mind that when it is dry, the colored latex becomes darker. After mixing, test it before applying it to the real surface. You need to paint at least two layers to achieve the full coverage. Once dry, I use acrylic paint to paint around the edges of the scales for the highlight. I then paint the tail with gold acrylic paint. I found that just only the gold color alone was quite monotonous, so I add another color. I still won't give up using the resin mold. I then try again using liquid latex. Use the brush handle to gently pour the latex to the mold. This will help reduce the air bubbles and capture all the details. After the first layer is dry, then add the second layers and let it dry completely. I have three different molds, so I will keep casting until I have enough. Once dry, Remove from the mold, then use the brush apply baby powder all over both sides to prevent sticking. Now we can use them to make accessories. I will call this latex ornaments. Next, I cut the eva foam to make the wing combined with the latex scale skin sheet. I glue some ostrich feathers until it was almost through on both sides, back and front. Put 
Paint the latex sheet just like the paint. Then I decorate with the latex on the main and paint. Then glue to the ever foam. I will attach the wings to this position later on. What you see here is the latex band. I stick into a long strip and then paint it to decorate the waist of the pant. Then I attach the belt and decorate the front of the pan too. All were made from latex ornaments. For the necklets, I cut it and glue them by trying to follow the shape of the neck. Attach more latex ornaments to the wrist and upper arms. Now for the head ornaments. I began by cutting the cardboard into curved strips and glue the edges together. I made two pieces. Then I glue the two pieces together. And decorate with latex ornament and others. And then paint. Moved to the Lego Bionicle legs. I felt it was bulky, so I cut off some part and moved with a boxy scout. Don't forget to check the movement of the joint. After that, I press a comb down to create a texture. Then paint it to look close to the original color. So that when the pen scratch off at the joint, it doesn't look ugly. And next, attach the latex ornaments again. Now looking at Monster High's hand, I don't like how their fingers spread like this. I then cut Barbie's hand to connect to Monster High's hand using wire and super glue. Then I use super glue to fill the gap until the surface is even. Then sand the excess glue. Paint as close as the original skin color. Blush the torso for a realistic look. Now the repaint process. After spraying the MSC twice, while waiting, I prepare the colors and paint tools. The color that I use are chalk pastels colors and watercolor pencils. My trick is to sharpen the watercolor pencils as sharp as possible. As you can see, the head and body have a very different skin tone. So I started by adjusting the skin color with chalk pastel. A 
But today, I chose a natural look. I began by drawing the eye in light brown and increasing the intensity of the color. Create light and shadow with chalk pastel. You may need to pause and spray MSC between the painting process to get a vibrant color. While watching, I'll tell you more story. The most famous kindred in Thai mythology is the figure known as Manora, derived from Manohara a heroine in the tale, Sutuna Jataka. The story inspired a dance called Manora Buchayan, which is one of the most esoteric among the high classical dance of Thailand, as well as the Nora dance of Southern Thailand. When finished, I add a little bit of glitter then spray the final coating with MSC. For the hair, I chose the method of gluing the upper car hairs directly to the head using waterproof wood glue. When the glue is dry, then flip the front hair to tie the ponytail. Attaching the alloy plate to the braids. Next, I made jewelry for the ear. I cut the cardboard into the shape as shown. Then adorned it with the latex ornaments, as usual. Pen and glue on behind the ears. If you remember, at the beginning of the video, she has a wobbling syndrome. I solved this problem by using the elastic hairband to wrap around the next several strands. Glue the earring to the ears. After that, I recycle Nefera's threads. Glue it on the front of the pen. Apply gloss varnish to the lips and eyes. I didn't forget to give her eyelashes. After that, we are done. What do you think? Do you like her? If you like, please thumbs up, share and subscribe. This will help me to grow up my channel. The last thing, please check out the doll's video. I leave the link in the description box. If anyone want to receive news, follow my Instagram. Alright, enough for today. Goodbye and see you soon.